Um, she came back, she came back a couple days ago and she was really sick. She had a fever. Right when um, she got here, I went downstairs to get her and she was just staring at me. She just stared at me for like two solid minutes. She would just stare at me. She didn't put her arms out. She didn't say up, but she was really sick. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Then I picked her up and she was happy. She was resting on me. Um, so we had like kind of been apart for like two weeks. Two freaking weeks. It's the longest that we've ever been away from each other and her not breastfeeding, even though she doesn't really get much. She doesn't want much. It took like a day, like a whole day for her to get used to breastfeeding again. Like she wants to, she knows what it is, she knows it's there. But everything's fine now and she's much better, as you can see, she's not sick. She's not feeling sick like she was. Her little machine that she's pretty much hooked up to 24 seven, just refilled it. She's not on it right now, I'm giving her a little break. She just woke up from a like two hour nap. Eli Awa. And we went to the doctor yesterday and I got a bunch of thickening packets. She gave me a bunch of thickening packets so her water is thick for her because she has a swallowing disorder. Mini vanilla wafers, peanut butter, Nutella, and I put them in the freezer. She's making the freaking funniest face. <laughs> so right now she is connected quite a lot and i really don't know how long she's gonna have to be connected like kind of continuously i don't know if it's just because she's sick and he changed it to that like just for the time being while she's sick but she's not sick anymore so i want her to be free from it ew so i just thickened some water for her it's a liquid. I don't know if it makes it taste any different. I don't want to taste it. She drinks it sometimes, you know. She doesn't seem to have a problem with it. And I think even her doctor has said that she had tried it once. It looks a little funky. Everything liquid that she drinks, I have to do this. And it's a weighted straw, so she could drink at any angle. And so she still gets the water. Normally, typically, like if she drank like that, more, more often than not, she would be coughing right now. Mess awa. Mmm. So she, she's 17 pounds. That is the most that she's ever weighed in her little tiny life. She's um, a year and a half. No. Ah, oh my God. You go add people. You go add people. She does the craziest things when my phone's around her. Like the craziest things. But the baby has been sleeping a lot today. She doesn't normally sleep this much. So I'm wondering maybe if it's because she has a lot more food in her system. Because she's like constantly being fed. She's like probably never hungry doesn't wake up from hunger or anything like that. Today, like, she took a long nap earlier. I was gonna record more about, like, what I do with her feedings and stuff and, and what all that processes with her new G-tube. But she's been sleeping, and I can't do any of that. But she's been sleeping so much today. She looks so cute. Her poor belly though. So there's like the G-tube in incision and then her belly button where they did another incision. So her belly button looks bad right now. She woke up like a few times last night crying and it took her, like the second time she woke up, it took her a while to stop crying and to finally want booby to soothe her. And now that she, um, now that she's back to normal, and breastfeeds. She wants she wants booby a lot. The entire first day, sucking on her fingers like the entire day. She wouldn't breastfeed. She tried, but she couldn't. 
like she was starting to have like an aversion to it or something, I don't know. But now that she's breastfeeding, she doesn't suck on her fingers anymore. When she was at her dad's, she didn't really have anything to soothe her like she did when she, she was with me. Anytime she would want booby, she could have it, you know? She always had something. So, she didn't have any booby. She doesn't take pacifiers, pinkies. Doesn't drink bottles, so she probably resorted to her hand. But she's sleeping. I'm starting to feel sick, though. I don't get sick often. I get headaches, I get migraines, but I don't get sick often. Even when everybody in the house is sick around me, I don't usually get sick. If I do get sick, I'm always the last one to get sick, or I just don't get sick. I guess I'm gonna go night-night with my baby because she's been sleeping so long. I thought she was gonna be up. I was so surprised when she fell asleep like around like 8 30 or 8 she fell asleep like that's so early that's so early i'm like i'm kind of scared she woke up early today too so maybe that's why maybe she doesn't usually get up that early now that she's here i don't stay up till four we change this every day once a day so i change it every morning and then we gotta fill it up with one of these it's scary because these things are so messy. This bag feels very strange. I don't know if there's an easier way to prime, but it kind of takes a minute. Body aches. The kitchen is so dirty. I have to clean it because nobody else will help. And do your kids ever get in trouble and their punishment is not having certain things or not going out with friends and then they won't do anything around the house like you ask them to clean something and they won't do it so the kitchen is especially dirty so this is how dirty it is and it's never this dirty especially now that cameron's not here it doesn't get this dirty but it's this bad because um, a couple days ago, I wanted them to clean the kitchen because they stay up, they make spicy noodles. That was around when they got in trouble. It should have been done days ago. But now that I'm sick, I have to do it. She's just watching some YouTube. I've been sitting down pretty much all day except for when I try to clean a lot of the kitchen. My bones hurt. I don't want to move. And she's gonna leave tomorrow. He wanted to pick her up today, but I don't even want him to pick her up at all. So I'm giving her a little break from the machine right now. She's been on it all day long. She just wants to be held and not just held, but like be standing. And especially today, I'm just, I just don't want to do that. She always clicks on ads and stuff. 